This is our Forex blog for July 6, 2012. I didn't do a blog yesterday or July 4th due to the holiday that day. And getting back to this, I have spent a lot of time improving our buy and sell signals, which you're going to see today. The first step is always use the currency meter to find the strongest and weakest currencies. Uh, the new currency meter we have we released a few weeks ago. It allows you to sort this from strongest to weakest currencies. And obviously the yen, the dollar, and the pound are the strongest ones. Uh, the real-time trend shows up in histogram form on the top. Underneath that we have the 15-minute trend, hourly trend, daily, weekly, monthly. You can see clearly the yen was off the charts strong today. The weakest ones were the Swiss, the Euro, and the New Zealand. You know, the New Zealand, however, has a weekly and monthly trend that is, you know, uh, quite strong. So, basically, step one is find the strongest currencies, buy the strongest versus the weak, and sell the weakest versus the strong. Since the dollar and the euro, uh, the dollar was strong and the euro is very weak, we're looking to sell the euro dollar, and the best trades, especially after 8.30, we're selling the euro yen. So, bring up the euro dollar chart and basically you can see some sell signals on the chart the daily weekly and monthly trends down the hourly moving average is in the middle here when it breaks down from above to below that you want to go short you pretty much break, broke even on that uh, you have a sell signal here and here and here and this is an older um, trade signals I've actually improved it let me bring up uh, a chart uh, showing the much enhanced one I spent about an hour or two every day going through these signals and I'm focusing on the trend signals which are the triangles I haven't even got yet to the uh, circle uh, signals which are counter trend signals so you know looking at this chart basically you're looking for sell here small loss break even you got short right here it fell about 20 30 pips fell about 10 pips here this trade here uh, was probably the best one it fell 10 20 30 40 50 60 pips this trade here worked, this trade here worked, this trade here, this trade here, and as a counter trend trade, that, that also uh, worked. When you start getting big counter trend signals, and I haven't, you know, there's about 11 different buy counter trend signals and 11 different sell counter trend signals, I haven't even got to, to working on that. I'm spending most of my time on trend trading signals, which are the triangles. There's many different types of trade signals. You know, once you know a currency is super weak, you wait for a pullback. That's a trade right here. This is a pullback. The trend's down. It makes a counter trend move up. It gives a sell signal. Another type of signal is when the market's kind of going sideways like this, and it breaks down through the through the low. Uh, you know, you have different type of sell signals. You can see that again here. Market's kind of going sideways, breaks down as a sell signal. That one only gave 10 pips. Uh, this counter trend trade right here, uh, or I'm sorry, trend trade right here was uh, phenomenal as well as the, the pullback trade. A lot of traders have heard of support resistance. Uh, there's a lot of different areas of support resistance we use. I'm just starting to put that in the software. 15 minute bars, 20 period moving average, hourly bars, previous days, weeks and months, high and low, previous days, weeks and months, uh, pivot levels, uh, daily and weekly uh, Fibonacci retracement levels, uh, Fibonacci profit target levels, and so on and so forth. Uh, speaking about Fibonacci areas, I spend about 30 minutes every night for my own trading doing Fibonacci analysis and I put it up on the server and you can add that to your chart by just putting on trading zones. This will put those uh, areas on your chart and these are very high probability maximum lows of the day. If the market's super weak like it was today in the euro, obviously it's more likely to go to the second fib target. Um, anytime the market gets to that level and you start seeing counter trend trades, you know, the market's moved too far and it's probably more likely to go up. You can see it went up, went up, went up. And if you bought here the first time, you made a little bit, made a little bit, you know, the market uh, failed to rally off the first one, so it's likely to go to the next one, which it did. Now, the euro dollar was one of the stronger pairs, but the yen was, you know, I'm sorry, the euro dollar was weak. I was talking about the dollar being strong. The yen was the strongest. So the euro yen is a very high probability uh, one to be looking for sales. We'll bring this up and I'll show how our trade signals worked on this one. And earlier in the day, the market really wasn't that, uh, you know, the yen wasn't as strong as it was after 8.30. You got a bunch of sell signals right here that, you know, the market fell, 
fell a little bit. This one here uh, found a really nice uh, 40 pip drop. This one here is pretty much a break even. This one here fell 20 pips. And then you're starting to get some counter trend signals, which, you know, it's been quite a while since I've worked on those. And I probably have to put in some code that uh, improves their accuracy. But they did pretty good today in, in finding, you know, reversals. This one, these two trades here reversed up. This one here failed. This one worked. This one failed. Uh, it's not bad for counter trend trades. This one also found a decent counter trend trade up. And this one also did a good job finding a counter trend sell, even though uh, the trend was up at that time. It nailed the high of the day. Now, the euro was one of the weakest. The Swiss was also extremely uh, weak today. The dollar was strong. We'll bring up the dollar Swiss. And I'm trying to make it very easy for new traders to trade, you know, without having to learn Fibonacci analysis, support resistance, position sizing, uh, money management r rules, you know, all the individual tools that we have, statistical trend, uh, previous days, weeks, and months, daily, weekly, and monthly pivots. Uh, there's so much stuff that we have and we have always taught. Uh, most traders don't want to spend three months, uh, an hour to three hours a day, learning all that stuff. They'd rather just use a currency meter. It's pretty easy, red and green, extreme strength. You know, the dollar was strong today. The Swiss was weak, so we're looking for buy signals. You had one breakout of the narrow range right here, and that one, you know, kind of went up a little bit. This one here worked. This one here worked. This one here worked. This one here worked. Counter trend signal obviously failed. And once it gets to the second fib target, it's much more likely to be the, the max high. But you can see, if you focus on the strong dollar in the weak Swiss, and the accuracy of our signals has greatly improved since the last one we released to our traders. This is going to be released probably uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. The Swiss was uh, very weak today, and we know that the yen was very strong. So the Swiss yen was a great one to look for sells, just like the euro yen was as well. Okay, so looking at this, you know, this trade here worked. Counter trend trade worked. This one here failed. Uh, you know, it, it really wasn't until 8.30 that the yen uh, really became super strong. So you start looking for sells. You might have had a loss here. This one here worked. This one here, you know, the market uh, continued on down for about 70 pips after the, there's also a sell signal right here, the blue one. Now, one of the ways of exiting trades is using our intelligent trailing stops, also using Fibonacci analysis. You can see on this chart here, which I've left run running live, uh, it does an excellent job once you get short of telling you when to get out. This trade right here, you can see it kept you in all the way to, until down here where it got you out at, at 29. It would have been short of pip underneath that bar's low, uh, and that was a huge, huge win. Once you have a decent sized move like that, another way of exiting trades is to draw your fibs. And when they hit the first and second fib target, most of the time that's the end of the move. On a super weak day like this, you know, it did stall at that Fibonacci 1.382 fib target, and then broke down and went to the next area. And when it does break down, you got to redraw the, the previous uh, swing. And most of the time, that's going to give you the profit targets of where it goes to. You can see the second FIB target right here is pretty much where it went to, where it went to. It went a few pips underneath that. That was the ultimate low. And it was also my Fibonacci, my second Fibonacci profit target that I do each night off of a much bigger swing than this. And the 3.0 green containment band usually is the maximum higher low of the day. Uh, when those get hit, typically, you know, every once in a while, it'll go five to maybe 20 pips underneath that. But typically, you'll get a 30 to 50 pip counter trend move off of these green bands. It wasn't, the euro dollar was not weak enough today to hit that. Most days, the white 2.0 containment band contains price. And this is based on really advanced statistics over the last 20 days. I will end today's blog uh, with this. Anytime you see a move down that has incredible weakness, on the counter trend move up, if there's not much strength, the sell signals are much, much more likely to work. And when you get a sell signal, when there's no strength on the up move, like right here, it's even more likely to work. So keep that in mind when you trade. And, you know, when we release this uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week with the new FX trade signals, I think you're going to find uh, incredibly improved accuracy. I've created way more signals than there was there before. There's over 35 different buy and sell signals there now. And 
each of them has many more rules to make sure they're extremely strict. Before, the one that I released last time had general rules that I had hoped that people would use these tools to decide whether to take the trades or not. I'm pretty much assuming that we're going to get a lot of people that maybe aren't smart enough to learn how to trade. They just want to be told what to do. And because of that, I am pretty much making it dummy proof. And basically, I redid most of the script and put in extremely uh, powerful rules to make sure only the best trades showed up. You know, here's a euro dollar now and uh, today's blog showing these results today. Now keep in mind the, uh, the circles are counter trend trades. I haven't spent any time on that in the last three weeks. These are uh, from pretty much the, the, the release version that you have. The, they should also show up on yours. The triangles have been completely rewritten to really look for very high probability uh, trades. And there's three different methods that I have in here. One of them is sideways breakouts, one are pullback trades, and the other ones are support resistance. If a market makes a decent enough pullback and hits you know, various areas of support resistance, uh, it will put the sell signal on the chart. Uh, 